Note that in Tracker Capture, we can also register an individual without enrolling them in a particular program. For example, if I deselect the antenatal care program, I can still register a new individual in DHIS2. If I click on register, we have options first to select the entity type. In this case, person is the only entity available. We can then enter some individual details about this person. If we click on save and continue, it will take us to that person's dashboard page. We can see that this is a bit different than when we enrolled the person in antenatal care directly. When we enrolled that person in antenatal care, the program was available and we could enter the data associated with that particular program. If we register an individual without enrolling them in a program, the next step is to then enroll them in a particular health program. Here we can select a program from the prompt. Let's enroll this individual in the antenatal care program. We select the program and then click on Add New. We then have to enter those details associated with this particular program. We can see that the first and last name carry over from our initial registration. We just have to enter in the individual details that are associated with the antenatal care program now. We can see that the profile begins to start populating with this information as we enter it in to the registration. If we click on Enroll, this will enroll that individual into the antenatal care program. You can see that now I can enter the data associated with the antenatal care first visit. And the second visit has been scheduled. 